Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Today we're going to show you how to replace the injector seals in this 1.5 DCI. Uh, it's on a Renault Clio today. Uh, the customer complained of emission smell in the cab while driving. Uh, just before we get into the video, if you don't mind clicking the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss out on any future content. Right, let's get to the video. So remove the engine cover. Now let's take a closer look. Uh, it's these two injectors here that are blowing on this one. It's quite tricky to see on the camera, but um, it doesn't really stand out. But there is quite a bit of carbon build up in the bottom of the two injectors there. Uh, we can hear them blowing out of them two as well. The other two seem to be okay, so we're just going to replace uh, the two seals. Uh, if you check out the description below, I'll put some links to all the tools that are used in the video. Right, the first thing we're going to do is to remove the, the two glow plug plugs. And just pop that off. Once we've got the glow plug plugs out of the way, we'll take the injector connectors off. Now, if you just see, there's a little pin either side, and if you just nip that in, you can just pull the plug off there. That's one out of the way. The end one's a little bit tight there, so I'm just going to use a little screwdriver to flick the tab in. Next job, we're going to take the two return hoses off the injectors. So that's the, two, the rubber hoses going to the side of the injector there. to use a 17mm spanner to remove the high pressure fuel hose off the injector. Just crack them off, there'll be a little bit of diesel on it. And you need to crack them off at both ends. One pipe out of the way. And that's the other way out of the way. Now if you can just uh, take a closer look, you'll see that we've got two bolts just holding the fork there, which holds the injector down. Uh, so T45 Torx that you're going to need to use for that. So we take the bolt out and then you can lift the fork out as well then. That's that. Right, now that uh, the forks are out of the way, if you look a bit closer, uh, you can see all the carbon build up in the bottom there. Next, we're gonna get the injector puller out. We've got a little slide hammer with an attachment that threads onto the top of the injectors there, uh, just to get them out. 
again if you check the description below i'll put a link to uh, where you can get one of the tools from right here's the uh, slide hammer tool we're going to be using to get the injectors out if you can just see that thread there is what threads directly on top of the injector then we can use it as a slide hammer to pull them out and we've also got the injector cleaning kit as well um, this is for the seal so again it's like a little slide hammer for getting the seal out we can thread that on thread that into the bottom and we can simply use it as a slide hammer to pull the seal out uh, if you ain't if you ain't got one of these you can sometimes knock a big phillips screwdriver into it and it does the same job uh, and then we've got uh, it's got a couple of different adapters on it to clean out the bottom seat as well so we're gonna uh, we'll do that once we get it out Right, let's have a go at getting these injectors out. Right, so we just thread that onto the With all the carbon build up, it can get really tight sometimes. It is starting to move there. Let's just have a look in the bottom there as it's coming up. You can see all that carbon again has been sat all around the injector. Yeah, that's the first injector out. We'll give that a clean up now. Um, we're going to uh, just bung the hole up while we scrape some of this carbon off around there as well. And if you can, I don't know if you'll see it very well on the camera, uh, but the injector seal is just stuck down the bottom of the hole there. So if we use the puller tool, that should come out. Let's have a go. So I'll thread that into the seal. Give it a nut. There we go. That's nice, just pulled the seal out there. Right, I'm just going to uh, just be careful with the injectors. If you're going to take them all out, just make sure you put them in an order because the injectors on these are coded. Um, there's a little number around the top there and they do need to be coded via a diagnostic machine to say which cylinder they're in so if you're fitting a new injector or a second hand one you always need to uh, take note of that code and just see it there and then you'll need to put the code in with a diagnostic machine as well so we need to make sure that that goes back in the same cylinder and just before we clean them up we'll get the uh, second injector out if this comes out as easy as the first one. Really handy tool these. Um, there's not much to prize against without one, so well worth getting. A bit tight at this one, but we're not quite getting a full swing with the airbox, so we might have to take the airbox out of the way. Just give us a little bit more room there. That's it, and cracked it out there. See that one again? This one's brought the seal out with it, save us a job, but see it's pretty well gummed up there. So right, I'm just gonna bung the two holes up with a glove, just uh, just so I can clean all the carbon off the outside first. Anything in there, just a bit of a rag or it'll do. It's just, I don't really want anything falling down into the cylinder. And there 
Right, and then there's the carbon. You can just scrape it off um, using a screwdriver or a pick. This isn't too bad, really. I've seen a lot, to, a lot worse. It's only just cleaning the outside bit, that's all. Cleaned up. I'll take the gloves out and clean the uh, actual bore on itself. Uh, we'll just quickly clean the injectors up and you can pop the new seal on there. If it, it might not hold on very well, so you might just want to dab a little bit of grease on it or either, either that or you can just drop it in the hole first, just make sure it's flat and then seat the injector to it. Uh, but just before we do that, we're just going to clean the bore holes out with the, uh, you can see it's just got a reamer on the end there and then the little cutting tool there just to clean the seat up as well so you don't have to do this and you can just scrape it but it does just help and guarantees you'll get a better seal Just before we seat them in, I'll just get the airline and just give the uh, cylinder holes a quick blow out. Just to make sure we haven't left any debris in the bottom of the air. Right now I can seat the injectors back in. Okay, I don't like it's going to stay on that seal, so we'll drop that in the hole first. Just make sure it's gone flat. This lot's in a bit nicer than the uh, last one coming out. Drop nicely flat this time. Right, that's both injectors back in. Now we'll put the forks back in as well. So if you just slot them through and just make sure you'll just see they only really go one way. You can see the bottom just pivots there and then it's got a cup at the bolt to hold it down against there. So. Well, just thread it in by hand first, so you know you're not cross, cross threading the bolt. Give them a nip up now. They don't need to be too tight, but it's a good nip on them. does is just clamp the injector down against the seal. <laughs> right, so we're going to do a reverse what we did early on, just put everything back together now. Um, let's start with the, uh, the high pressure pipes first. Can be a little bit tricky sometimes to line up the pipes. Again, always get them started. Your fingers just to make sure they're not cross threaded. Right, 
Again, they don't want to be over tight these. Do uh, just need a bit of a nip and soon damage the uh, threads on them. Now I can put the return hoses back on. And the connectors. Just make sure you hear the connector clip and you'll know it's properly gone home then. Nice job, put the uh, glow plug connectors back on. And just pop on the top on the plug there. Right, now just before we put the engine cover back on, we're going to start the engine up now and just make sure that it's sealed and make sure we've not got any fuel leaks from the return pipes or the high pressure pipes. Took a few cranks to fire it up because the uh, fuel pipes have been off. The fuel just ran back a little bit. Um, so you do actually have a primer on these so you can, you can pump in the end primer if you need to, but so I want that bad to start. So. Um, but it's, everything looks sealed up nicely there. It's not chuffing, not seeing a fuel leaking. Uh, it's probably ideal to leave it for about it's got four or five minutes just running to keep an eye on it and um, just to make sure I can do that. If you've got any questions or any feedback, just leave them in the comments below. Um, so this is a 1500 DCI Nicolio, but we're seeing quite a lot of the Nissans and some Renaults as well. And um, we're all pretty much the same set up. Um, but uh, also it's done, so hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.